Hey there, so this is going to be the first video of a new series in which I'll explain the different ways to make animation in Flutter. In this video, we will discuss one such basic approach called implicit animations. Let us consider some widget called a foo that has some properties. Now, after we give values to these properties and run the application, then foo gives us a green circle on the screen. Now imagine during the runtime, property A of foo changes from the current value to a new value. Correspondingly, the appearance of the widget also updates on the screen. But this updation occurred rather quickly without any animation. So let's try giving some animations to this. For that, first we are going to replace our foo widget with an animated foo widget. The animated foo widget has an additional property called duration which specifies the duration for which the animation occur. So now, if we change the value of property A to the original value, then the widget changes to the new property value with a graceful animation. So this is what implicit animation does. It allows you to animate from one property value to another under the given duration. Now, in order to include implicit animations in your application, Instead of the regular widgets, you will be using an animated version of the basic widgets such as animated align, animated container, animated opacity, animated size, etc. Here I have a column containing two expanded widgets. The first expanded widget contains a sender which houses a container. The dimensions and color of the container are set by custom variables. And the next expanded widget contains a column of four flat buttons. When the first button is pressed, the size of the container is doubled. And the second button uh, restores the size of the container to the original value. The third button when pressed changes the color of the container to red. And finally, the fourth button changes the color of the container to blue. So if we run our app here and press the options, the property of our container changes, however, we cannot see any animation. Now, in order to add implicit animations into our container, here instead of the container, we will be using an animated container. So, animated container requires a duration. So, here I am going to provide a duration of 600 milliseconds. And now, if we restart our applications, our container actually animates to different property values under the given duration. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next.